Today, I'm here to talk about something incredibly important your blood pressure. As a registered nurse, I see firsthand how crucial it is to monitor your blood pressure regularly. That's why I wanted to dedicate this video to teaching you how to do it right from the comfort of your own home. So let's get started. Hi everyone, my name is Philip, and I'm going to be your nurse today. So why you should monitor your blood pressure at Home. When you're at the doctor's office, that is just one little snapshot of your blood pressure in that time. Monitoring at home allows you to complete the full picture of how your blood pressure truly is in your day-to-day -day activity. This is because you're more at home than you are at the doctor's office, hopefully. So it will complete the picture of how your blood pressure truly is. By doing so, it allows you to identify patterns and see how your blood pressure changes with time, activities, and emotions. It also allows you to make informed decisions. With more information, you can work with your doctor to develop a personalized plan for managing your blood pressure. Third thing is it can help track your progress. It can help you monitor the effectiveness of your lifestyle changes and medication adjustments. Last thing, it can help empower yourself. It can make you feel in control of your health and make you just feel confident altogether. So choosing the right monitor. There are two main types. There's a manual and there's a digital. Manual requires you to pump the cuff yourself and listen to the sounds with a stethoscope. This is really hard to do and I can't even do this myself. There's a second one called digital and that's an automatic inflation and it displays the readings on a screen. This is so much easier to use. So which one do I recommend? I recommend just for the ease, get the digital. They are pretty accurate, especially since technology is always improving. I've compared both the digital and manual with patients and it oftentimes provides the same value with maybe a little bit of an insignificant difference. So getting ready for your measurements. To ensure accurate readings, follow these sample steps before taking your blood pressure. So relax for at least five minutes in a quiet environment away from distractions. Empty your bladder beforehand. Avoid smoking, drinking coffee, or exercising for at least 30 minutes before your measurement. So the steps. Remove any clothing from your upper arm. Sit upright with your back supported. Make sure you are in a comfortable position. You want to be as comfortable as possible because any discomfort may increase your blood pressure. Now, when you check your blood pressure, the ideal location is to be on the biceps of your arm. Place the device on your arm and make sure this little circle with a line is right on this part of the bicep. This is because you have an artery here called brachial artery. And this is the artery we use to measure your blood pressure. There are other locations we can do, but for the sake of accuracy in this video, we're just gonna stick to that bicep. Your arm should be elevated, so it is almost the same level of your heart. Best to rest it on a table or something. Not just to make sure your legs are apart and not crossed. Super important. Having crossed legs can increase your blood pressure. So make sure your feet are apart and touching the ground. Before you press start, make sure you have been sitting in this position for a minute or two. Any activity prior, such as cooking, walking, will increase your blood pressure and may give you a higher reading. I usually practice mindfulness at this time to calm my nerves down. I usually get like, super anxious when checking my blood pressure because I've been diagnosed with high blood pressure in the past. So after a minute or two of sitting in this position, I then press the start button. When the cup is inflating, try not to move and just breathe normally. My anxiety goes through the roof when I hear the machine inflating and when I feel it squeezing my arm. I like to imagine someone is just giving my arm a little hug and that usually does the trick and calms me down. Some patients like to imagine they are on the beach or wherever makes them feel calm and happy. The key is to not be anxious because that will raise your blood pressure. 
try to stay as calm as possible while it is inflating. And that's it. Once the cup has deflated, you are done. You're usually given three numbers. One is systolic, one is diastolic, and then heart rate. To learn more about what these numbers mean, I'll make a separate video going over them. So little tips for accurate readings. Take your blood pressure at the same time each day, ideally in the morning or and or evening. Take two or three readings each session and record them in a logbook. If you get conflicting readings, don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider. To share all your readings with your providers, write them down and bring them into the doctor appointment. I cannot stress enough how much we love it when we get a set of blood pressure readings. Oftentimes, patients will just provide us one reading, usually the reading that they're concerned with, but that is just not enough data for us to work with. We like to view trends, averages, and patterns. So common mistakes patients call me about in regards to their blood pressure readings. So one, they call me saying that their blood pressure is higher than normal. Most times than not, they check their blood pressure without resting for five minutes. Two, the cuff is on incorrectly. Three, arm is not relaxed. Make sure it is relaxed. Four, arm is not the same level as the heart is usually just dangling down on the side like this. Five, their legs are crossed. And the last thing is they're not relaxed. So monitoring your blood pressure at home is a simple and effective way to stay on top of your health. By following these tips and consulting with your doctor, you can take control of your blood pressure and reduce the risk of serious health problems. I encourage you to make home monitoring a regular part of your health routine. I personally do it every week. Remember, your health is your greatest wealth. So leave a comment below and let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family who might benefit from this information. And until next time, as you know, there's no better time to invest into your health than right now. Thanks again and go check your blood pressure. See ya.